Welcome back to Shop Dog Garage. We have a drive shaft, so we're going to play with that. And obviously the dog sled's gone, so shopping cart's here. We're going to get this picked up and see if that drive shaft fits. Okay, the car's up. We're going to go grab the box, see if all this is going to work out for us. Really, really hopeful. Okay. Just figured out I've got the wrong U-bolts for this transmission. I need ones for a 1330S. And that's for a 1350. Okay. So until we get some of the right size straps, we're going to use some green zip ties because I don't really want to lose any of those needle bearings. But you can see it's fitting the cap perfect, so we got that measured correctly. And... Obviously, we're at full droop right now. That's as far down as she can go. And we're well within our meeting. So I'm pretty happy there. And I think we're in neutral. Yeah, we're in neutral. So I can turn it. Turns the rear. So look at that. We have a drive shaft. The important thing here to note is this is nicely centered in the tube. In a little while, I'll check at uh, full compression just to make sure this is never going to hit here, but I seriously doubt it would. And for better or for worse, this is what we're doing here. We did put some heat sleeving behind it. So hopefully that protects that hose from that alternator belt, which does need tightened. You can see it's, it's quite a bit loose. But boy, I wish we could just get the hose away from it. Here at Shop Dog Garage, we sometimes have to do other projects as well. So Jeff's got a maple tree he wants to stabilize. So we just welded some giant nuts on the end of some rebar real quick. He'll get those painted before he drives them in the ground. But that should be easy enough to hold that little maple tree. And then keeping with this hopping from random thing to random thing, I think what I want to do in a little bit is two things. One. I want to actually mount a uh, handle because I'm, I'm coming up soon. I really have to decide on the long and the short handles for the back. And I want to find out what was rubbing with the windshield wiper before the console goes in. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a window down so I can actually put my arm through. That's convenient. So that piece mounts. It's not as easy as it looks. There's a piece of fiberglass here that needed a little convincing so I'm going to go ahead and mount the long one and see what I think much as I feared this is what winds up happening when you're cranking it as it kind of runs into this belt so let me mount a small one real quick well it's definitely harder to crank but it doesn't get interfered into the belt so it looks like for the rear, the windows that'll probably never go down anyway, we're going with the short cranks. That's not fun, but the glove box is out now. So we're gonna see if we can figure out, I think I already figured it out. I may have already moved it. So let's see. Okay. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't like that sound, but I think that just might be what they sound like. I'm going to crawl under there and take a peek. Alright. For some reason, Shop Dog had to go in the house and get a cookie. So we did that. And we're back out here to do a little more work. Yeah, it was definitely a connector from the radio that was rubbing on that. So I'm glad we took all that apart and moved it because that would have been bad. As we all know, shop dogs run on popcorn and pretzels. So, we have a weird thing that I spent a ridiculous amount of time on, and that is the glove box light. We had an LED bulb in there. However, one of the problems with that is the way glove box lights work is the outside of the bulb winds up being the positive, and the face winds up being the ground. Well, unfortunately, LEDs only work one direction, and it's the other direction than that. And holy monkeys, did I spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to solve that problem. Um, 
We've already decided we're going short on the arms just because the long ones really wrinkle into that belt. Even had neighbor Jeff try it and you know, he didn't have any trouble winding the windows up and down. So, so that's been decided. The other thing is, uh, we're going to try to cold blue these. I know we've talked about uh, powder coating them, but one of the things I wanted to try originally anyway was doing like a gunstock blue, which is really black. You know, it's an iron oxide. Anyway, that that's neither here nor there. I think when we get the other ones, we're going to try cold bluing these and then oiling them and see what we think. Because one of the things Harlan is a little worried about is doing too much blue on the interior and taking away from the subtle kind of look he was going for with that. Because, of course, this is a very subtle car, as you can see. You know, everything about this car screams, don't look at me. But, anyway, I know there's been a couple days here, so I'll get this video up in the morning. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And Shop Dog still does love pretzels.